All right, hello, this is Anna here, and we are gonna have two little videos to go with our endocrine system. So this is part one of that series for unit 12. All right, your notes, slides, memorize. All right, know the difference between them. Ducts, non-hormonal, no ducts, hormones. Basic difference. All right, acid base versus steroid, got it. Oh yeah, made from cholesterol, super important. Next slide. All right, your endocrine system, this is about hormones, okay? What is a hormone? It's a chemical messenger. All right, you'll discuss more in lecture the differences between hormones versus cytokines versus neurotransmitters. What's the difference between them? What name we've decided to use with them, okay? There are hormones that are also neurotransmitters if you put them in a different location. So don't get messed up by that. Okay, so over here in the brain, we've got um, three endocrine glands, pineal, hypothalamus, and pituitary. You learned these already in um, AMP1, so you need to remember this. Remember that this is sitting in your cella tercica. If you don't remember what bone that is, go look it up, okay? So you need to know those locations, be able to Id identify them on a model. All right, now take your hand and touch the front of your throat if you're male, you should be able to feel the tip of your Adam's apple, which is your thyroid cartilage. Right below that is going to be the thyroid gland. And you can see this is where your Adam's apple would be. And um, then the, and this, by the way, is a posterior view. And you can see the posterior of the thyroid. Now, what's nice is because this is a posterior view, okay, you can also see the little buttons here, which are your para- thyroid glands can totally different gland but on the posterior side okay now we're going to go down to the abdominal cavity we've talked about the adrenals they're right on top of your liver liver that's not the liver that's a kidney okay you can also see the pancreas which we've also discussed already with the digestive system okay what else do we have oh i forgot the thymus now i want you to go and tap your sternum all right you can make your voice jump like mine if you take that sternum and rip it off, you will find right underneath it this really ugly little gland called the thymus. And then you got the gonads, okay? Now, what I want you to notice is I've got a couple that I've put blue stars by. And that is because they are both endocrine and exocrine. So they secrete, they make and secrete hormones, but they make and secrete other things as well, okay? Next slide. All right, note slide, memorize absolutely everything on this slide. Um, also the fact that the pituitary can be called the hypothesis. Next slide. All right, here's a cadaver extraction of the pituitary gland. You can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. You've got a very large adenohypothesis and a smaller neurohypothesis. This one is big because it makes stuff and it makes a lot of stuff. This one is little because all it does is store two hormones, okay? Um, and then you've got the infundibulum, which is connecting it up to the hypothalamus, and you actually have structures that go between the two and connect them up. Moving on. All right, here you've got your photomicrograph of the pituitary gland. All right, the epithelial cells absorb more stain because of the way they are structured. So this is your adenohypophysis. This is made out of neurons. All right, the neurons are storing two hormones and it picks up the stain to a much less extent, okay? So this is epithelium, this is neurons, which again kind of goes back to the point that what's the difference between a hormone and a neurotransmitter, well, if it's in the nervous system and it's made in a nervous cell, a neuron, we call or an astrocyte or whatever, we call it a neurotransmitter. But if it's made in the epithelial cell, we call it a hormone. But if you put it into the adrenal gland and it's made in a neuron from nervous tissue, we still call it a hormone because it's going to cells outside of the um, nervous system. So it can be a little confusing. It's not a real consistent naming system, but that's the way it goes, okay? 
Now, because of the way this slide is cut, it makes the adenohypophysis look a little smaller than the neurohypophysis. But in reality, the adenohypophysis, the anterior pituitary or adenohypophysis is much larger than the neuro or posterior. All right, next slide. All right, what we've done here is we've just blown up the two tissue types so that you can see them a little bit more clearly. Um, and so here you can see the stain being picked up by the anterior and you can see the fact that this is more neural cells. So here you can actually see um, the cell structures a little bit better. All right, um, right here, there's one. Don't get confused by the basophils, which are just white blood cells, okay? Whereas here, um, you basically are dealing with much larger. Um, here's kind of a structure there. Um, so you can see the nerve fibers going here. Here's another nice one right there that's been labeled for you. I'm not going to ask you to label all of these structures, all right, that you've got in here. I want you to be able to just distinguish anterior pituitary from posterior pituitary. All right, let's go to the last slide on this video lecture. All right, you need to memorize the hormones that are made in the adenohypophysis versus made in the hypothalamus and stored in the neurohypophysis or posterior pituitary. So this is also called anterior pituitary. That will definitely be on your quiz and definitely be on the final exam, okay? You need to memorize one, two, three, four, five, six hormones that are made in the anterior pituitary, okay? In terms of function, this is what you need to know. You don't need to know anything else, so keep the memorization simple, okay? I'm okay with you just using the abbreviation for growth hormone, for adrenocorticotropin, uh, for TSH, which is also thyrotropin, but um, you it would be to your advantage to memorize both. But if you just use FSH on a quiz, I'm okay with that, okay? With the hypothalamus, all right, so it's making a lot of different things because it's both endocrine and exocrine. The two hormones that we associate with the endocrine system with the hypothalamus are ADH, antidiuretic hormone, and oxytocin, okay? So the hypothalamus makes it, it goes through neuron fibers, through the infundibulum, and is then stored in the posterior pituitary. Then the hypothalamus, in response to what the blood chemistry is, will tell the posterior pituitary whether to secrete or not. The hypothalamus is also controlling the secretion of everything from the anterior pituitary. So who is the master? Hypothalamus is the master, okay? And it controls both the anterior pituitary and the posterior pituitary. All right, so that's the end for part one on the endocrine system. And you are now ready to go along to the part two video.